back when I was still doing Cadence, I had the cool opportunity to design a kit and a frame to go with the Cadence factory team, which was based out of the UK. And a funny note about that, the kit was supposed to have high vis instead of yellow, but the factory couldn't figure it out, and so we just stuck with the yellow. So that's why there's yellow on this, because technical mishap, and eh, it's fine. Colossi stepped up to the plate and made frames for everybody on the team, and somehow I finagled my way into getting one of those frames, even though I wasn't necessarily on the team. This bike is running the classic Pulsar pattern. Cool thing about this build is Colossi sends you a sheet and they have you fill out all your body measurements, and then they build the frame based off of that. So this is the closest semi-custom custom bike I've ever had, and all the gray graphic hits on this bike are reflective. I figured when these guys are racing red hook crit it would look awesome with the flashes popping off and these reflective hits glowing in the photos plus it's functional if you ride it in the city as i mentioned before this bike is scandium scandium's like a fancy kind of aluminum that's about as far as i know about it but the internet is full of answers if you're curious it's got campy record track cranks which when i was a messenger these were the hottest of hot cranks to have and i i think they still are they're so bulbous and God damn beautiful. This guy's built up on some H-Sun aluminum deep dish rims with a carbon wrap laced to some profile track hubs. These are a pretty bomber set of wheels, even though that carbon overlay is definitely seen better days. Oh, and a cool detail on the wheel. I always thought it'd be cool to have an optical illusion on one of the rims, so I stenciled the back rim into an optical illusion, a la Duchamp's visual escapades. Armadillo 700 by 25. These are my favorite tires for track bikes. I love the rubber, I love the density, they last a long time, they're perfect. And then on the front, I have some old ass crumbling Vittoria something or other. I can't even read the label, it's that old. 700 by 23. I hope it makes it through today's ride, or any any ride I get out of it, I'm so stoked. And toe cages, because I, I like walking around in civilian shoes, and it's just, maybe it's like a throwback to the messenger thing, I, I, I don't know, it's just my style. And the handlebars I recently set up with some Villier Olibara, I don't know how to pronounce that, monocoque carbon fiber drop bars, and man, they look awesome on this bike, and the color match is unreal. It was just, it just had to happen, so it happened. Oh yeah, and all the racers got their names on the bike, which I thought was kind of cool. And, because I'm a self-obsessed creative type, I put the Decline logo down there on the bottom bracket. So there you go, that's my current track bike build. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of this bike is. I'm dying to know. Will you look at the size of this pumpkin? This thing is huge. Look at this thing. Good morning, 35 degrees. Oh, so cold. Today we've got track bikes, chocolate, and friends. What more could you ask for? Shall we? Check out this mod. There's like four feet of box on top of that van. Ever since Suko tipped me off to the roast chocolate bar in the Northwest, I've made it my personal mission to try all of the chocolate bars in Portland. It's amazing, they treat it like fine coffee, single origin beans, roasted in-house. It's awesome, so that's why we're doing what we're gonna do. One more. What's up, Blair? Good morning. Look at brave man here, Luke. Luke is no fucks given. Hip lock in the city, two bikes. You're we'll very be, brave, my friend. We'll be quick. <laughs> Tastes like chocolate milk. Nothing, nothing too crazy about it. How's yours? I haven't tried it yet. Mind blown. Josh here just hooked up some coffee beans because he's a true player and knows all about the EBD. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, dude. Thanks, Dustin. Very impressed with this setup. Shingles. And the window is the window of a van. That's respect. They, I think they have a fireplace, too. Think they got an extra room for rent? Full service. <laughs> Once I lived the life of a millionaire Spending my money, Lord, I did 
didn't care, I didn't care. Carrying my friends out for a mighty good time. Hey, Lucas. Yes, sir. Hey, tell me about your bike. This is a Tyrant Kagero uh, with pedal consumption. It's like plastic Champagne and wine. All oh, that I begin to fall so low. Boom. Later, player. No money in my pocket. Didn't have no place to go. Perfect little spin to win. You know, it doesn't always have to be some big ass crazy experience. Just a little ride into the city for some chocolate milk on a track bike and see your friend. Hmm. Question for you. Did or do you still have a track bike? Let me know in the comments. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, well, now might be the time. Now I gotta set up a live stream for Friday Live, where I do a director's commentary and all kinds of pointless rimble ramble. Won't you join us? Until next time, dear friend, this is Dustin Klein, signing off.